Hi everyone and welcome to this class today. So it might be hot outside and the sun might be shining but I'm making some Christmas ornaments or over here in the UK we actually call them Christmas baubles but I'm actually going to be using the large holiday ornament from Heartfelt Creations which is from the holiday ornament collection so we're going to call them ornaments today okay just so that we don't get confused and that's the main stamp and die that i've used to make all of these that i've done now some of them i've embossed onto metallic cardstock some of them i've just cut out onto some double-sided cardstock which is like a pearlescent then i've used some of this cardstock here which i think well it was in my stash and i've got a feeling it came in a big bundle from create and craft many many years ago and then I've got this really lovely glitter card stock, which is a really soft sort of sheen on it. And it's sort of like not an in your face gold. Now this one, this one here, and the metallic one that I've used for these ones actually came in a pack from um well i got it from amazon and it came in a pack i think there was like four or five different shades of but they all sort of coordinate together from sizzix obviously you can go on other websites and find it but i will put a link in the description on the amazon one i think it was about 15 pounds for a pack i can't quite remember what they were but i'll show you what they sort of look like when you put them all together Hang on a minute, because I've got some here. Don't go in with that one. That one doesn't go in with it. But you can see it all sort of like coordinated together. So it was a really nice bundle to buy. And it coordinates with my lounge perfectly. So that was where I was going with this. I kind of thought I'll make some Christmas ornaments for myself. For the um, sort of like to go in my lounge that coordinate with the lounge. But where am I going with this? Well, let me just show you. Right, so a good few weeks ago, about six weeks ago, I think it was, I made this in a Facebook Live. I did it off the cuff. Um, it wasn't what I'd planned to demo. That's a very, very long story. Um, but I made this and I thought, right, I love the concept of it, but there's got to be an easier way. So I grabbed all my stamps and dies from the holiday ornament so i'm using all of these three today and then i'm also going to use the christmas poinsettia and holly stamp and die set which is from the candlelit christmas and i use that to create these okay really really pretty i love one of my favorite um poinsettias to be honest uh, and i used the mold that coordinates with that and to colour them, where's my colouring thing gone? Let me just show you what I use because I don't always sort of go for branded names. This was just a cheap um, watercolour paint set that I bought from the range over here in the UK. And it had got the perfect colour that I wanted. So that's where I got that colour from. I will do a video on how I made them uh, at a bit later date but I thought they were great. And then I'm going to use some holly in the same sort of colours. I've used the metallic paints again, but the metallic paint was the green, I thought was a little bit too bright. If you look at that, it just wouldn't have gone in my lounge. I uh, just thought it would just be too bright. So I actually added some distress ink in, I think it was the sage colour but again I will link everything that I've used in here but it really worked well so the stamp set I've used for that is the Christmas Holly accents which is from the festive Christmas um collection from Heartfelt so there's the Holly that's what I've used and then I've also used some of that fern stuff I say fern stuff because I've no idea what it, you'd really call it I'm sure it's got a proper name but I did some in the green in that same green as what I did the Holly like that but then i've also done some in the that glitter cardstock as well and because it's a no shed cardstock 
it cuts absolutely beautifully. The only thing is I didn't colour the back of those, so I'm not 100% sure whether I'll use them. But on everything else you see, I actually did cover the back because it is an ornament. You might see it. Not sure if, if you will, but I thought, well, I'll go ahead and prep it well and colour it on the back. So that's what we're going to use. And then I've also got some of this, another Amazon, <laughs> Amazon buy. So this came in a, I think it was like a two metre garland. And I've made um, Christmas wreaths with it. I've used it in my Christmas arrangements. And I thought because I've used it in those, I would use it on these as well. So we might add a bit of those. And I think that's basically about everything that I'm going to use in the video. I will link everything down. So I will try and sort of go through step by step with you. So this will be more of a class than sort of like some of my normal videos. Although, to be honest, my normal videos are long and I will try not to ramble too much. But what I've done is... You will, I think it's handy to have double sided. Okay, so if you've got some double sided cardstock, it works really well. And I'll tell you why, because when you cut it out in sort of like one with a white background and on the back, it's obviously white. But then when you try and put them together, because they are not totally equal, you sort of like get, I don't know, it just didn't look right. So, I thought double-sided would be better, okay? I don't know, it does work well. But anyway, that beside the point. Right, so what I've gone ahead and done, and also because I want, oh, I know why I wanted it double-sided. Right, so the reason I double-sided is because what I did, I went ahead and actually put some of the glittered one, which I've die cut out, in the decorative part of it and I've glued them onto both sides of that cardstock. Yes, you can do it using them back to back, but it will then start making the ornament quite bulky as well. So I wanted to keep the bulk down as much as I could. So I'm going to take another one here because I want to glue these two so these ones I've heat embossed on the metallic cardstock from Sizzix works really well you can heat emboss on it and I've heat embossed with I think it was a gold stampendous um, embossing powder so I'm going to glue that directly onto there and I'm just going to get that glue off my hands so I want to make sure it's completely glued down. So I'm going to make sure I get all around the edges there. And I'm going to go up each one of those sort of decorative parts that have been cut out. And again, all the way around this one, all around the edge, making sure that star as well, there's plenty of glue on. And then down the bottom, all the way around the edge, down to that tip like that and then we will glue that onto our pink ornament so once that's sort of like in place i can actually make sure it's totally stuck down and if you've got some tissue that would work well just to clean off some of that residue of your glue most importantly, you want to make sure it's glued firmly around the edges. Then we're going to turn that round and we're going to do exactly the same with the other side. And we're going to pop that down like that perfectly. Now there is a reason why I didn't use the double sided. It will come to me, but we'll continue because that's bugging me now. So I will continue to glue this one down. And at this stage, I'm not 100% sure on how many baubles I'm going to use, but we will count them at the end and I will put it in the description so that you can actually see how many you need to create with it. So you can actually come back to the video and actually possibly follow me step by step on what we're doing. So I think I've got enough glue on there. So we'll pop that on that side. 
So they don't have to be exactly the same if you don't want to on each side. It depends how you want to put your bauble together. You can do them all the same if you wanted. As I say, you can go traditional colours with this. You can go silver, red, gold and red, greens, whatever colour you want. It's just completely up to you. And I'm just going to add a little bit more glue there. Just take that off a little bit and just make sure that's secure down there. So as I say, I'm not 100% sure how many we're going to use yet, but I've got some extra bits there if I want to use those. So we'll put them to one side and then I'm going to bring these two back in. So different ways you can do it. So on this one, I've used some, it's got some metallic thread in it, sort of like a twine kind of thing. And I use that for my sort of like hangy bit and I've brought it down and I've used one of the ornaments on the bottom. So if you don't have any, you can colour anything basically. So I took some twine and I've coloured some of them in silver. I've just got some metallic pens off of Amazon. Again, that one is a really good one, the Deco Colour. That goes a lovely gold. So you can use those to colour the twine. So this twine here that I'm showing you was basically this one, but I coloured it silver. Okay, that's a really nice colour as well. So that's a nice colour combination that you could do it in. So that's completely up to you on what you use as your sort of like little bit of hangy bit. So on this one, I'm going to use ribbon. So first of all, I'm going to take some red liner tape and I'm going to go down the centre and add that to one side, the wrong side, should I say, of your bauble. I'm going to cut that off there and I'm just going to make sure that, so that it goes right down to that tip, I've just cut that red liner tape to the same shape. And then I'm going to take my pokey tool and I'm going to take that top layer of that red liner tape off and I'm going to add my ribbon. So the ribbon I'm using, another cheap pretty ribbon, I think this was about a pound or it might even been like three pound for three or something. I think I got it from the range. So what I want to do is I want a loop at the top, okay. So I'm going to sort of like work out how long I want that loop. Now, because it is going to be a long ornament anyway, I'm going to sort of like keep that pretty short. So I only want it about an inch or so just above the bauble itself. So I'm going to give myself enough ribbon like that and we'll add our ribbon. Now, if you want to add your dangly bit like that, you're going to want to have some hanging off down the bottom. If you use a thread, if you use some of that really nice metallic thread that you can get, you could even add pearls and diamond, diamondy sort of like diamondy things down the bottom as well. But for this one, I want some hanging off. So I'm not sure how long I want it. So I'm literally just going to cut it longer than I think I'm going to need. I think about six inches I've left off the end there. And then I'm going to add some, another strip of my red liner tape. But before I add that, I'm going to take that top part and I'm going to fold that over and make that loop at the top there where I want it. And I'm just going to hold that, take my red liner tape and go over where I've looped it, there, and then I'm going to bring that down so it goes over the top of that ribbon, and then I'm going to just trim that on the bottom there so it doesn't hang over too much. Just trim that, and then I'm going to take that top layer off again with my pokey tool, now that's going to be a bit difficult on that end because that's not quite stuck. So I'm going to do it on this end here 
and just pull that off. There we go. Come on. Sometimes the red liner tape's got a bit of mind of its own. So we're going to pull that off. There. Come on. Like that. And then because I haven't quite gone to the top and that's not quite stuck there, I'm going to add some glue just to hold that down and just add a little bit of glue at the top there and a little bit at the bottom because I didn't quite go to the bottom. And then I'm going to take my ornament and add the glue all the way down each side of that ornament base there. So I'm going to glue these together. Obviously I've got my red liner tape in the center there. So then I'm going to bring that and make sure that is perfectly lined up there. And that is the start of my bauble. Okay, so it's not quite lined up, but that's fine because I'm going to ink all of the edges anyway. So you can see some of the edges you've got, you can see some of the white. So what I've got is I've got some, I found this on the internet, but actually my friend did. It's a pigment ink and it's a lovely rose gold color and it's metallic. Uh, so I'm going to use that to ink my edges. But if you haven't got any, you could use some distress inks. If you're going for the same colours as I am, I think the Tattered Rose would work well. Or you could use, again, a metallic pen, which, as I say, are easy accessible on the internet. But I will put some links down in the description for those. Or you could go, and we've all got these. I think everybody uses stickles. Or some sort of like wet glue with glitters in. So I've got, you could go for one of them. Or if you wanted, you could go for some just your normal glitter and use your glue around the edge. If I was going to do that, I'd probably do that after I'd actually put the ornament together. But I'm just going to go around the edge now. because I think it just finishes it off. Can't quite get in there, but that's the nice thing about using your daubers doesn't matter if I go quite a bit, bit over here onto the ornament because you're not actually going to see much of it. And just, you're not actually going to see much in there either. But if you wanted to get in there, you could use a paintbrush because I don't want to mess around with it too much. Don't want to, I could just about squeeze it in. That's fine. So that's done my edges. So I will want to do all of the edges as I put them on. We won't go through and do all the edges, but you can see it does just make that bit of a difference. Just neatens those edges a little bit. Okay, so we'll put that away and then we'll come back to our ornament. So now what I want to do is I want to take, now this is where decisions, decisions, decisions. Right, so. I've also done a few of these already. So I've got my cardstock. This was double-sided cardstock, so it was the same color, that really nice dusky pink. And I've added some of my die-cut ornaments, some different ones there, I've got my glittered ones there. I've done the same on both of those, but you, as I say, you don't have to. I've got another double-sided one here, so I'm not sure if I'm going to need any more, but just in case. I'm going to make one. So I've gone with this one, which is sort of like a patterned metallic cardstock. I think, as I say, I think it was from Create and Craft, not 100% sure. I'm just going to add my glue all the way around the edge. And around this edge, the edges are important. You could, I guess, use self-adhesive um, sheets that are perfect for your die cutting. There's quite a lot of brands out there, or you could use a spray glue if you want. And I'm just using that wet glue and I'm just going to pop that down on that bauble there. Like that. And I did cut my finger earlier, so I'm hoping it's not going to start bleeding again and we get blood everywhere. 
it's only a little tiny nick but you know sometimes those tiny nicks are the worst and i did it literally just before i um put the video camera on okay so that's a pretty one i like that one as i say all these colors just coordinate beautifully in in my lounge uh but you don't have to do yours this color i just think it would work really well for me so i'm just going to add some glue to this one all the way around the edge i'm not going to speed the video up because i like to chat to you guys when i'm doing it even though you're not actually there um, but yeah, if you like the way I do my videos or you don't like the way I do my videos, just leave it in the comment and I'll take it all on board. Um, but I do like to give you hints and tips along the way. I think that's the whole point of doing these videos, you know, to share what I learn. So if I make a mistake, I very often keep that in my videos as well. Um, and then you can kind of see my thought process on how I'm putting everything together. So just bring that down again, making sure it's positioned properly. Just clean that up. That's one of my worst habits. I very often think, oh, I'll clean that off in a minute and then it doesn't quite clean off. So top tip, clean it as you go. Okay, so that's another one there. Can you see where if I ink the edge of that, as I say, I'm not going to do it on, on air. I think it's just going to be a little bit too long, but it does look better. But I will do, do all the inking of the edges when I've done the whole video, I think. So then I'm going to bring my ornament back in. And then I've just got to decide which ones I'm going to have on here. So I'm going to put that one on this side so again sorry more more glue in maybe I should edit these and speed it up a little bit but I I can speed it up I can speed craft whilst I'm doing this but I want I like mine to be more of a class than it is just a tutorial you know but I will what I will do is I'll put this on as a short video as well so if you want to watch a speeded up version you can in my video shorts it's not really that sort of like technical to be honest and I'm so scared I've done it before I edited a video and totally lost it so I've done like over an hour of recording and totally lost it so I absolutely was gutted and totally had to prep it again and we all know the prepping the stamping the die cutting can actually take quite a bit of time so I don't like really editing but I'll get used to it. It's all a learning curve, isn't it, everyone? But there we go. You won't see that white glue there because it will dry. And then I'm going to turn it over. There you see, I've got a bit of glue there. So just then I've just, oh, what have I got? So I've got that one. I've got a couple of glittered ones. I don't really want to use a glittered one, but I think that one's. Um, Tell you what, what have we got on there? I will, what colour do I want more? If that's the decision now, it's like, mm, what do I want more of? I wish I'd got some more of that cardstock, but I haven't. I've got half of one from what I, one I made earlier. So I haven't got any, so I am going to go with, decisions, decisions, I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, I think that'll just be easier. So you could probably do this and it looks just as well with just red and gold or red and silver. I don't know. I just like, I do, I have had traditional Christmases every Christmas. I sort of, well, not every Christmas, but sort of like every two or three years, I change the color scheme of my lounge. And then I just literally decide what I'm going to do for Christmas. I've done traditional, I've had, a black and cerise pink Christmas tree. The Christmas tree was green, but all the ornaments were black and cerise. And I actually used a similar concept. So I made my own baubles. This is going back years ago. And I used some dies from Spellbinders. Perhaps some of you have still got them. I think I have somewhere. Um, and I 
and I made those sort of like very similar but nowhere near as pretty as this is going to be because I didn't put flowers on them but um but yeah this is going to work really well it doesn't you know if you've got a large bauble or a small bauble because you could do exactly the same concept with smaller baubles as well so just have a look to see what you've got in your stash so they would look really good on my christmas tree just as they are okay so there's one way that you could do them another way is just to do a three-dimensional one like that that's going to hang you could put these on the wall even you could even put one or two or three coming down um but i'm actually going to do it sort of like both ways if that makes sense so it's a full three-dimensional one as i say i did this one on a facebook live it's it's awful absolutely awful but it was just literally grab what i've got nikki you've got to make something um and that's what i came up with so for you those of you that have been waiting patiently for this video thank you because it's actually been sit and sat on my desk it's been moved from corner to corner in the craft room because i just haven't really had time to actually do the video so today i thought was a perfect time to actually do it and i've actually picked a really warm day and it's quite warm in here so as you could see what i've just done i've literally cut that one in half and then i'm going to go ahead and cut this one in half because i'm not 100 percent sure how many i'm going to use i'm not going to cut them all in half because i know i've got enough things here to maybe make a card not just ornaments so we've got those two let's see how we get on but then i've got that one as well i'll tell you what we're going to cut this one as well it's only cardstock at the end of the day if i don't use it i'm sure i can find something so cut them in half and then the thing is now i want to decide what i'm going to put where so i want to pop them sort of like at that angle okay i think it's at a 45 degree angle um so i'm going to add a strip of hot glue now my glue gun is really hot that is one of the important things you could use your pva glue which would work brilliant but you will have to wait and hold it so it dries now i don't want to put these perfectly close together because I want to add a piece in the center there as well so i'm going to hold that in place as i say if i was doing this and i wasn't doing it for a video i possibly would have the patience to actually do this and hold it until my pva glue's dried i've tried it using red liner tape and it wasn't strong enough i didn't think it held it enough um but for the video, I thought I would use my glue gun because I know that that's going to go off pretty quick. And then I want to put one in the centre. Now, you can start off by putting one in the centre and then going down the edge. My thought on this was it made it a little bit bulky because then I had more glue because I was adding glue each side. But again it's completely up to you but this glue does actually really work well especially when my glue gun's been on for a while and it does dry clear so i'm going to pop that one literally upright make sure i don't move those out of the way and that's why i wanted to sort of like keep that gap in there and there is half of my ornament. Now, what I would do if I wasn't doing it on a video is I would do another one without the ribbon and just like that. And then I would glue that on there like that. OK, now, rather than me just show you that process again. Right. Obviously, I'm going to waste that. But I'm just thinking I could actually just use that on there. Now, do I or don't I? Do you know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to, we're going to do this side so I can show you how probably not to do it because this is going to be a lot harder. 
Oh, I don't know. No, I'm not going to do it. Right. If you watch my Facebook lives and my videos, you will know I um, talk to myself. Um, so I'm just literally cutting those ribbons off. Okay. So you don't need this on the back there. So scrap that bit. Okay, I told you, I'm not going to take anything out of the video. Um, I just wanted you to see the process of this and how it works. So you'd have your ribbon coming down here. You wouldn't have that bit and you wouldn't have that back bit on there. You would do two like that and then you would literally put that on there. But it's going to work absolutely brilliant. Now, because there's quite, going to be quite a lot of weight, I'm going to literally go all the way around and I'm going to stick that on using my glue gun. I'll let you know how I get on in a minute. You'll see how I get on in a minute, but I'm going to go literally right around the edge. Make sure that is well wet, but I would actually not use your glue gun for this process, for this part. I would go in and use your wet glue for camera purposes, I have used my glue, but can you see where that's now quite bulky there? I didn't need all that bulk, but what I can do is just add some glue in there just so that holds that. So I'm going to go in with my wet glue just in that bit, bring that one out, just hold that down. But, so yours wouldn't be as bulky Okay, but I am going to finish off the edges anyway with some glitter. But there is a three-dimensional bauble. I think it's worked quite well. I'm quite happy with it. Um, it's all a bit of a learning curve, isn't it? I'm just sort of like, because I'm doing it on the video, I would have literally not have used that other one. I would have done it all from scratch. So that's all in. So what your next thing would be is to decorate the top. Okay, so to decorate the top, I've got my flowers. Now, my thought on this was that I would probably need to do both sides. But I'm thinking, well, if that's going to be hung up on a Christmas tree, you can't actually see the back of it anyway. So I'm just going to decorate the front. And I'm going to go in with my holly first there. So I'm just making sure that I'm in shot. So I want to go sort of like at the top there. So that hangs, oops, come away with my finger there. So we're going to pull that there. And then I'm going to pop that one the other side. So I've got one each side. I know that that, whoops, that was the glue gun just caught my arm. So I'll just pop that one there, like that. And then at this point, I am going to, if I just turn this up on six, there. Then I'm going to bring some poinsettias in because they are going to coordinate beautifully. Sorry, I went a bit quiet there. I'm sort of like, you know, you forget that you're actually on camera. So apologies for that. So I'm now going to add my poinsettia. So I'm going to use the larger one in the centre there. Like this. And just pop that on there. Stick. does not want to stick I don't know why there we go and then I'm going to see that look just pretty like that now this is where everyone watching would probably say if I was doing a Facebook live stop Nikki um, do you know what I am actually probably gonna stop because I don't want to overload it um, I'm going to ouch that was the glue gun again and then I'm going to laugh it at myself here I don't know why I've got good glue gun there. I want to add some of the glittered sort of like pine leaf there. And that's going to come under there. Like that. And 
underneath my poinsettia and then I'm just going to lift that up so I can see see how that looks I'm really quite happy with that but then I'm kind of thinking yeah but I really wanted to sort of like make a really nice if this was just sort of like a one-off kind of gift I was giving somebody I would probably put more on but I'm kind of thinking I've got to make quite a few of these for my tree so I'm not kind of sure hmm decisions decisions tell you what we're going to put a few more of these in so lay that back down i'm going to use some more of those glittered ones here i really hope i didn't make that process of putting the bauble together too difficult if so i will do it again i'll do another video because as i say i sort of changed up what i was going to do i was going to go all the way round, but it's actually easier to do it in two separate halves. Sometimes we don't know until we actually do these things, do we? And that's what I like to do in my videos. Sometimes I just don't like to, obviously I prep and I've made one before, but sometimes I just want you to sort of like, when you work it or you're watching my videos, you can see my thought process and then you're gonna go away and you're not gonna make the same mistakes as me. That's kind of like the plan anyway. That's what I like to think that I do. So they're more like classes than they are sort of like just YouTube tutorials. Obviously, I, I and I haven't done any um, flower shaping ones for a while. I'm cut, cutting off those little berries. I don't need those on here. That's just gonna bulk it up. But as I say, I will put the one on at some point in the next few weeks with the poinsettias and I am and I promise not been setting this for such a long time I am trying to get them uploaded at least once or twice a week different videos with different techniques and just card making and inspiration but unfortunately life well my work life at the minute is just like all over the place with doing the shows on creating craft they just literally think you've got nothing better to do and that you're on the other end of the phone and you can come in it just seems to be happening just recently, but um, but yeah, so if you're new and you're just watching this and you don't know who I am and I'm babbling on about shows, I actually demonstrate on Creating Craft TV over here in the UK, have done for many, many years, predominantly using Heartfelt, but I also do um, freelance work as well. And obviously we all know Heartfelt are no longer... So I'm doing a lot more freelance work. Oh, I like that. Oh, yes. Now she's getting happy. Do you do this when you're crafting? It's like, wow. Uh, so, yes. So, um, but you can find me on social media under Nikki Craft or Nikki Craft Designs. There's a Facebook group. I've got two. Um, one's Crafting at Home with Nikki and friends no it's not it's crafting at home with nikki craft designs which is basically where i post a lot of um information about my my classes my face-to-face -face classes and my online classes but um then in the other group is sort of like more of an inspiration group where lots of us post cards that we've made not just with heartfelt but a bit of everything um and i do regular facebook lives in there so if you want to pop on and join us, oh no, I like that. But I'm still kind of thinking, what do you think? I'm going to, oh. right, I'm going to leave it at that, but put in the comment what you think, if you think I should have just kept going. So as I say, my thought process was to do the back as well. But I think when that's hanging up, you're not actually going to see the back anyway, but then it's going to turn around. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to leave it there, but... I do actually think, that's kind of stuck there, I do actually think I possibly would put some decoration on the back as well. But I've sort of shown you how to sort of like make a three-dimensional one and then it's up to you how you want to decorate yours. As I say, not just heartfelt dies, this is going to work really well with any ornament dies. Similar concept even if it was a star. I will put one on using the Holiday Star, actually, in the next few months, because I've made quite a few of those. Um, and then, really, 
it's deciding on whether or not you want to come down the bottom and add another one. So I'm just going to decide where I want that to end. You could put two or three on. You could dimension them up as well, like I have here. I just want to put one off just to finish the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to snip that off there. So this is going to be the end of my ribbon. Okay, there's just so many different ways I can do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some red liner tape to this so that, that oh, I'll tell you what, no, I won't. I'm just going to go straight in and put this on with my glue gun. I'm just trying to find another one because I want to put them back to back like that. So I'm going to go straight in with my glue gun there. You can see, just hoping that, that didn't come off. And then there, put that on there. And then take that bit, and my glue is probably dried now because I've been too long. And then that will go on there like that. There we go. And it's not quite level, so I am going to pull that off a little bit. Just need to make sure that that stays centered there. So I'm going to go with that glue gun again and just make sure that that is centered like that. So it's back to back. If it's not quite right and you've done what I've done and it's just not sort of like quite centered, you could just trim around the edge. I'm just going to trim around the edge. As I say, normally you, I would use my wet glue gun. And then what I'd do there is I would ink that the same as I'm going to with all the others. And I would also, what I'm going to do, I would also add a pearl on the top there, or you could add, oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. You know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep it quite simple. I'm going to cut up a couple of bits of holly like this because they are green on the back. So that's the front there. So I want to just make sure that I'm in shot there so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to bring in a couple of pieces of holly so that it coordinates with that top bit there. Just so sort of like off angle them a little bit. Add a little bit of that gold, not too much because obviously this is only a little one at the bottom. Just to give you a bit of an idea on what else you could do with this, then I'm going to take one of the small poinsettias and add Oops, it's come undone. I'll just glue that. Let's just put that on there and just add a bit of glue on the back there, and then that'll glue that back together. Get in the right way there. And then I'm going to pull that off my mat quickly because I think it's stuck. There we go. And that finishes that off beautifully, doesn't it? Now look at that. Now that is an ornament that you could sell. Do you agree? Wow, I'm really pleased with that. As I say, you can finish it off a little bit. You could even put it around the back if you want, but absolutely gorgeous. Well, thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope I have taught you something. Sorry if I've rambled on a little bit. And I will see you very soon for a brand new video. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. Am I going to do Christmas or not? Comment, leave a comment and let me know what you want me to teach you next and I will do another class on something, okay? So anyway, thank you so much for joining me and don't forget, if you have enjoyed today's video, just hit the subscribe button and like and comment. It really does help my channel and I hate asking, but apparently I'm supposed to. But anyway, see you again soon. Bye.